Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Zotac GeForce GTX 960 Amp Edition graphics card. So this is based on the 960 GPU and the using the Maxwell architecture. It has 1024 CUDA cores on it, 828-bit memory bus with 2 gigs of memory. It also comes factory overclocked and has a custom cooling solution on it. So let's take a closer look at the card itself. I'll tell you a little bit more about the specifics. We can take a look at the accessories and also the benchmarks that we get on this card with many of the current games. So let's take a look at that card. And here we have a closer look at the Zotac Amp Edition of the GeForce GTX 960. So what we actually have here is a custom cooling solution. This is their dual fan ice storm cooler. And you've got the two fans on it and a decent heat sink underneath. Um, it has a couple heat pipes running through it and also has a back plate on the graphics card. You'll also note that there's some accents on this that kind of look like carbon fiber to give it a little bit of nice lookingness to the uh, heat sink. We've got our PCI Express 3.0 connector here. We've got a single six pin power connector like most of the GTX 960s out there. On the back plate they've got their Zotac printed on it and we've got four screws here if you do need to remove the heat sink for some reason. Of course we have a SLI connector here and for connectivity we have two display ports here, an HDMI port and another display port over here as well as a dual link DVI connection. So this is going to run at 120 TDP um, up to 120 watts here and it has two gigs of memory on it. It also has a on a 128-bit bus. It's running at 7010 megahertz and the clock speeds are 1266 base with a 1329 boost. It does of course have the 1024 CUDA cores like all the 960s do and it's protected pretty well by the back plate and the shroud on it. The shroud is metal. The back plate also is a nice light metal on this uh, card to keep it protected. You also of course have the Firestorm overclocking utility that you can use to try to push the card a little bit more. Of course not all cards are created equal and you definitely have to um, consider that you may not be able to to push it too much more because it is factory overclocked already. Of course it definitely supports the NVIDIA technologies such as GameStream, GameWorks, Games, and G-Sync. You also have support for the next DirectX API, DirectX 12, when that come, becomes available. You're going to see some games using DirectX 12 pretty soon in the future, I believe. Um, so it'll be nice to have cards that are already capable of running DirectX 12, uh, the DirectX 12 API. So that's been the look at the Zotac GeForce 960. Let's take a quick look at the accessories that it comes with. First off, they put everything in this nice little Zotac envelope. You get the quick installation guide um, in multiple languages. You also get a little bit of information on some GeForce accelerated software that's available. And the graphics card user's manual, a driver CD of course, and a four pin, two four pin Molex to a six pin PCI Express connector in case you don't have that on your power supply. So you've got everything you need to get up and running with this and now of course what you're all waiting for let's see how it performed in the benchmarks.
So as you can see from the benchmarks and everything, the Zotec GeForce GTX 960 Amp Edition performs quite well in many of the games, competing with other cards in the um, this price range of everything. So I hope you really enjoyed this overview and the benchmarks for the Zotec 960 Amp. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.